Welcome to today's mentoring session. And uh, before starting today's mentoring session, the question and answer session, I'll be sharing the weekly sectoral analysis with all of you. And as usual, I'll be starting with the Nifty Futures monthly time frame charts. So in the monthly time frame chart, I think it's very, very clear that the uh, price is trading between both of these moving averages. Uh, it's clearly showing that the overall trend is flat. Neither it is up, neither it is down. In the <clears throat> weekly time frame chart, we can see there has been a pullback. And uh, similarly, there was a pullback, I think, in the uh, month of May as well. All right. And this particular pullback did stay almost till three weeks. You can see this first, second, third week. And then uh, on the fourth week, you saw sell off. Now, uh, at this particular time, the pullback started in the mid of June month, and we have almost lasted for three weeks. This particular week, current week, rather than a big sell-off, it has been more of a consolidation. Today's move was a pretty much surprise for everyone. I think the way markets were reacting since last three, four days, it was possibility, especially from the banking side, that the stocks could have come down. But again, as I've been saying very, very clearly that market is not any more uh, function or, uh, you know, it's not getting derived from the Nifty and Bank Nifty alone. So if there is anyone who is just watching Nifty and Bank Nifty uh, single-handedly and trying to trade the stocks, it's not going to work out anymore because the trend in the Nifty and Bank Nifty is very much flat. The trend in the Nifty futures currently is down in the weekly time frame charts no doubt about that but in the daily time frame charts again if you see it was very much like flattish in the last two days then yesterday it started going down uh, but again it was very very funny that despite a trend showing its downside the candle which was made is a high wave candle and generally high wave candles are a sign that that particular market is extremely tired to go down. The recent direction was down. So it was showing that the market was tired to go slightly bit down. And there were fair bit of volumes which had been generated over here if you apply the volume profile indicator. And from that, we had a sort of support and this was the pullback which has come up. Now, <clears throat> this particular pullback which has come up, is just a one day pullback. The trend is certainly up. There is no doubt about that in the Nifty Futures chart. But it needs to sustain above, close above 16,130, 16,100 levels. This entire band needs to be surpassed 16,100 to 16,130. If this particular level is surpassed, then I think again we could retest 16,250 to 16. 300 levels. As of now, markets are very, very much, you can say, choppy and range bound. So, so it's a very small range within which markets are moving. And you know, different, different sectors are moving in different ways. Even in banking, the if you see PSU bankings are going on the upside, and uh, if you check the private banking space, again in that, there are a couple of banks which are strong. There are a few banks which are weak. So you cannot say that at, an entire sector is moving down or up. Uh, especially in the banking pack. Now, if you have a look in the banking sector, in the weekly time frame, you can see that this is again just a pullback like what we had in the month of May. Similarly to Nifty Futures, this is just again a consolidation week altogether, nothing more than that. Now, what happens from here on is very, very important. As of now, it's difficult to say. In the daily time frame chart, the trend is certainly up. It is not at all down. And uh, you can see this is a decent support band from 36, uh, 34,615 to 34,367. As far as uh, this particular, uh, as far as this particular support is holding on, and there is no danger to Bank Nifty. But once I think the prices start to rebound from here, then they will be able to retest 35,615. So we need to be aware of that. All right. And the candle which has been made over here is a decent candle. You can say over here, this is not at all a bad candle. So I think we'll need to wait and watch what happens on Monday and Tuesday. 
in private banking space again i think it looks more or less like the banks uh, banking chart the bank nifty future chart but still in the private banking space there is one stock i think which is much stronger than any other stock as of now which is icici bank and the reason for that is it has been able to make a new high because since the time when market topped out in october most of the times you can see icici bank has been able to make a lower low and a lower high this is the first time it has been able to make a higher high this is the previous high this is the new high now if it is able to make a possibly a higher low in comparison to this one and then if it starts moving up probably it will be a good bet for swing trade uh, and if you check all other banks if you see <clears throat> hdfc bank it was a very good candidate if it could have surpassed this particular level but it was not able to do so so in private banking space again it is like h uh, hdfc bank or axis bank or indusin bank these banks are a little bit weaker okay these banks are a little bit weaker hdfc bank does have some support over here but until and unless this particular level is not surpassed the overall structure of the chart will not change all right in psu banking space again you can see the trend is up in the daily time frame charts we have been able to establish a new high over here which is a very good sign after this a sudden move of two days you can see that the market consolidated price dip for a couple of days and we have been able to bounce just a little bit just a little bit from these support bands if you see sbi <clears throat> sorry it seems the software is stuck here it is so you can see sbi is looking pretty decent enough it is been able to bounce from this uh, 23.6% fibonacci retracement it is also showing as a hammer so if it consolidates over here and then then if it starts going higher it could end up in a decent up move if you look at bank of baroda let me open through this particular list over here if you look at bank of borodo again this is into a decent uptrend a sharp up move a sharp follow through again but after this follow through there there needs to be some sort of consolidation and then an up move then possibly you will be able to see a up move continuing on the upside so in comparison to private banks i think psu banks as of now they are much strongly placed but this correction should end over here all right this correction should end if they just give a big up move and then suddenly they give a large downside move on the downside then it makes no sense metal pack now metal pack i think in last couple of weeks i had clearly mentioned that i am not interested to initiate any sort of uh, short side positions in metal pack and uh, more or less if you see my view has been right because in last two weeks slowly and steadily metal packs have rallied higher not a lot but yes little bit today i think it was a first day where i did witness some sort of decent selling coming up in the metal stocks you can see tata steel coming down you can say gsw steel especially jindal steel so i think i will wait and watch till at least monday or tuesday and then i will take a decision that whether i should change my view uh, which i had uh, shared with all of you on metal pack that i would avoid taking short positions on metal pack or not i'll take at least a, a day or two for that before that it is not possible because if you see in between there have been candles like these okay there have been one day and then two three days consolidation or possibly a rally again a one big sell off and then again a rally so if that sort of thing is going to happen i'm not interested so i'll take some time off and then possibly i'll decide as of now i'll just stay put and i'll stick to my view i wouldn't go short in the metal pack but maybe i would change my view on saturday or uh, on uh, monday or tuesday if it is required <clears throat> now we will head towards auto pack i think auto pack uh, 
any stock, I would say most of all of them are strong. But uh, if you check one stock from my side, it would be Ashok Leland. Ashok Leland is a very strong looking stock, according to me. And it came down. It has retraced. It is trading at 38.2% retracement. You can see a sharp up move over here. If this up move sustains and uh, you know, sustains above 146, 147, especially above this candle high, then we could expect a decent rally in this particular stock. Finance pack. Finance pack, as of now, I have nothing to say because this is just a pullback rally, just like we had in the previous pullback when entire uh, market did rally. And there is nothing substantial over here. Only substantial rally will be established once we surpass this particular high. And on the downside, if we need to have some sort of you know correction or something, we need to see big red candles over here. Because in these few candles, there is only one big red candle over here. So as of now, it's very difficult to establish a view that whether the finance pack will head higher or it will come lower. So basically, we'll need to wait for at least few days and then market will tell us whether the uh, this particular sector wants to head higher or it wants to come down <clears throat> it pack now this particular <clears throat> pack is certainly in a downtrend no doubts about that and uh, in the, my last video i had actually shared that it could try to close this gap it wasn't able to do so and inability to close this gap was a weakness and after that we have been seeing these stocks coming down today i think you can see today and yesterday both of these days the sector was trying to close below this particular entire horizontal band which i had shared with all of you in my previous educational videos also this particular support band actually is on the weekly time frame chart also and now if you see over here, you can see a higher, uh, sorry, you can see a lower low in price and you can see a higher low in RSI. This is not a positive divergence. This is a sign that uh, the sector, these stocks are possibly tired to go down on the downside. And there could be a possibility uh, that these stocks may bounce back in the short term. I'm speaking about the short term, not the medium term. Now, after this bounce back happens, what will happen after that is more important because if this particular bounce back is very sharp, that it goes away totally like this, then I think everyone will be surprised. I'm not talking about this sort of bounce back. I'm speaking about just a mere little bit bounce back. After that, it should consolidate. And after the consolidation, what happens is more important. If it starts heading lower again, then it should be able to break these lows if you want this downtrend to continue further down. If it is not able to come down and break this low, then I think we'll have to take a new view again. And this process will take a few days to happen. It's not going to happen very soon. So we'll have to wait and watch. And whenever it is happening, some new change in the view will happen in the IT pack. I'll share with you. Pharma pack, I think, according to me, it is just in a pullback mode. You can see overall trend is still on the downside in the weekly time frame charts. And the price is going up. It is just giving a decent pullback rally. That's it. And if you see yesterday's candle is an inverted hammer. Today's candle is a hammer. Not a very strong. Uh, it's a hanging man. Sorry. Not a very strong hanging man. But if you have a big red candle closing below this particular yesterday's candle, then possibly some sort of weakness could be established in pharma pack. <clears throat> FMCG stocks are, I think, one of the strongest sectors as of now in uh, conjunction with the auto pack. I had a view that these stocks were very, very overstretched. With Actually, they are, and they should possibly have retraced. And after the retracement, if we would have got a chance for short-term trades, obviously all of us could be very happy, but uh, you know, market has its own nature and they're not ready to come down as of now. So overall trend stays higher, but I would request all of the swing traders, all of the positional traders to keep their stops tight 
because no one can say that how long this rally will continue very very strong because yes overall rally will continue overall trend is going to remain on the upside there is no doubt about that but a short term dip you don't know any time it can happen <clears throat> and actually it is required also in the fmcg pack according to me all right now a reality pack uh, there is one interesting thing which i can see over here last three candles if you see this one is a inverted hammer or you can call it a gravestone doji which is a very dangerous candle pattern this one is a spinning top and this one is a hanging man so we can see after a stellar rally in the uh, reality pack suddenly in last three days a lot of uh, you know a mix up sort of view is coming up the bulls are not ready to go higher the bears are not ready to push the markets down market is extremely extremely choppy as of now all right and we have a resistance coming somewhere over here so if this rally continues on the upside and if we hit this resistance at that point of time what we need to do is we need to cross check the volumes in the reality pack stocks if the volumes are dropping and if the rally is continuing on the upside then possibly there is something fishy in that particular rally uh that is what we need to understand but i think that will happen only with time i think we'll need one or two days more to understand what is going to happen in the reality pack consumption pack i think i had signaled about this i think last week also that this particular sector is started outperforming even if you check in the weekly time frame chart it is looking very very impressive i think if it makes a higher low this is the previous low if it makes a higher low i think we'll have a confirmation that the uptrend in the uh, consumption pack has started just like the fmcg pack and the auto pack all right mid cap i think is extremely extremely underperforming uh, although the base which was made over here was extremely aggressive this is a sign of a very strong aggressive base but despite this particular base the rally which has come up over here is uh, not very very impressive if you have a look in the weekly time frame chart also i think this is just a pull back nothing more than that and uh, i think in next one or two weeks we'll understand because if the nifty doesn't sustain if the bank nifty doesn't sustain if the overall market starts coming down overall all of the stocks start coming down and then if we have a u turn happening in the bank uh, in the mid cap index stocks then we will be able to understand what's happening as of now because over here we are still in the continuation phase the continuation phase of this rally and if this rally wants to establish a new trend or improve the entire structure it will need to minimum do one thing surpass this high and make a new high this is what is the minimum requirement as of now all right so summing it up all we need to understand that currently market is uh, not uh, in a phase where we can say that if nifty is in an uptrend everything is in an uptrend if uh, nifty is in a downtrend everything is in a downtrend no it is not going to work like that anymore certainly not you will have to watch the sectors you will have to see within that sector if there are on a uh, two other sectors or not like for example in uh, nifty in bank nifty we do have a private banks and psu banks and again you'll have to pick the strongest and the weak stocks like if you see properly the private banking space private banking space again if you see there are couple of stocks which are stronger there are two three stocks which are weaker so you'll have to pick uh, very strong charts uh, very strong sectors or very weak sectors to go long or short and vice versa all right so stay focused pick the right stocks trade less and trade only high probable trades all right stay safe and take care thank you